Welcome back. Uh, well, the SGX NIFT is indicating that we'll have another positive start. Not that it, it matters anymore, honestly speaking. It's been such a strong market and, and if, uh, you know, if, uh, the, the market perhaps had a bit of a shakeout on, on Wednesday, that's it. And uh, after that, it's just been on Tuesday rather and uh, then just been moving higher. We have Sanjeev Bhasin now joining us. He's director at IFL Securities. Sanjeev, hi, good morning. Uh, good to talk to you as always. Uh, 18,000 is here. Uh, you can smile now. Uh, this was your target on the on the nifty right uh, it's come maybe sooner than you would have expected right uh, uh, what next yeah good morning so anuj uh, arguably we've had the best two months in the last 12 months and who's complaining so 18000 is just a number you can see there's a humongous feeling of left out so 19 20 21 we could be headed anywhere india is a huge outperformer and i think the fed policy all the external macros will be priced in by the end of September. And I'm looking for a global rally, given the pent-up demand globally and India being an outperformer. Okay, Sanjeev, hi. Good morning. Uh, I mean, you can see it all around, right? Even in the markets, there's uh, leadership coming through from a lot of pockets, whether it's autos, consumption, banks. Uh, who or which are the stocks you think could lead the next leg of the rally? Yeah, good morning. So, Sonia, <laughs> such is the world of stocks which tell you that despair and ecstasy go hand in hand. And if you could buy the despair, you are laughing to the ecstasy now. Well, it's just started. Auto numbers are telling you that there is a very, very strong pent-up demand. Hotels, uh, travel, tourism, banks are laughing their way on the credit side. Look at how the mid-cap banks have done. Cement, you forgot to mention Ambuja hitting a new high. That was my last topic when I came to you on your show last time when 365 was the open offer and the price was much below that. And, and I think that uh, whole host of OEMs, so collectively the market has now enough pillars to take you up. Uh, even IT and uh, metals to some extent would be uh, something which I could be looking out to uh, you know, drive the markets higher. Mm. Hi, Sanjeev, and, uh, you know, good to hear your bullish commentary continue as well. And, uh, you know, good when you stick your neck out when uh, there's a lot of despair out there. So you've got that called right. Uh, I wanted to, a quick update. You know, talk, you spoke about Ambuja Cements. Cement has done very, very well. But what do you do from here? Is there still pockets that you would look to buy, the larger or the smaller names? Yeah, good morning, Nigel. The point is not uh, putting your neck out. The point is being consistent. Mm. Consistency pays off, and if I was consistent from 15 and a half, then at 18 and a half, I'll be more consistent on a lighter note. Well, Ultra Tech, 114 million tons of capacity. It is the largest player. Ambuja ACC combined have 58 million, and um, Ultra Tech numbers margins are all ex, you know going to exceed targets. So at 6900, I would still put my money on Ultra Tech for a target of eight and a half thousand, and we think. You know, the way construction, the way CapEx uh, is picking up, uh, Ultratech will be one stock to be washed out for. Okay, Sanjeev, uh, you know, in the recent past, you've been extremely bullish on the Tier 2 banks. Uh, you know, you've seen decent moves in some of these names. Uh, uh, you know, especially the couple of PSU ones. Even in the private space, we've seen big moves in Federal and City Union Bank. From a risk-reward point of view, is this still a good space to be in? Yeah, yeah, and so very well spotted. You know, actually, if you saw the uh, components of some of the banks, I, I mean, of course, ICICI, but uh, look at IDFC first, look at uh, City Union, like you said, look at Federal, they have all, and look at Bank of Baroda, it's hitting new highs. Who thought that PSUs uh, will be the, you know, flavor of the day, month, and year? And I still think there is steam there. Uh, I'll give you a dark horse. I think Union Bank, uh, and PNB, I mean, they are, uh, you know, hated stocks, but uh, the, the managements themselves are saying that we are sitting on excess cash and our uh, lending season, uh, uh, you know, actions or uh, quantity is going to be huge. So, so take it in a pinch of salt. I've been holding PNB all the way from 34 and recommending, but Union Bank is my dark horse. 35, 36 was where we entered. We are not going to exit till 75 or 80 on uh, Union Bank. That could be my dark horse on a small ticket size. But if you want to stay with the larger ones, then I obviously ICICI, Kotak are two of our favorite picks, Bank of Baroda and State Bank on the uh, PSU side. Uh, no, I don't. I, we are, our top holding is SBI Life, followed by HDFC Life, and we want to stay with the leaders. So, okay. so we are focused on these two insurance companies. 
we think that insurance is a no brainer in the sense that if you are looking to do a fixed deposit or get returns you would rather do a sip in uh, one of the, in both of these uh, private insurers because there is a very very long way ahead given the population and given the demographics of how many people are insured so their premium collection their gross net value asset all point out that sbi life and hdfc life will be the leaders mm. in this space for many many years to come okay what about lombard icsa lombard yeah lombard is again a pick uh, but it has been little volatile but like i said we have avoided that we want mm. to stay with both these plays and these are two of our pick but icsa lombard is a fairly okay the stock has actually underperformed in the recent few months and uh, i think uh, the market share gain and the you know the clarity on the policy now from insur life insurance also being able to sell other products has put a little bit of damper on uh, lombard okay uh, sanjeev you briefly mentioned you know the auto sales and how they are picking up mnm uh, launched uh, unveiled a new electric vehicle yesterday and incidentally it's world electric vehicle day today uh, so there's so much traction happening here but from a stock specific point of view what would be your top pick now So Sonia let me take you about a year and year quarter a uh, one year quarter back if you remember when there was doom and dust 70 was my Ashok Leyland favorite Ashok Leyland is hitting new highs Ashok Leyland is going to 200 rupees M&M is going to 1500 and my dark horses are going to be Motherson Sumi and Bosch Bosch is headed to 23000 and Motherson to 170 it's a come bonus share uh, these are four of my top picks I also am overweight on Aisher Motor and i think tvs motor has been the star so you can sum up these and i think you'll make the perfect basket mm. uh sanjeev uh, which sector according to you has run ahead of itself nigel there will always be optimism and pessimism at its highest and uh, you can sense the feeling of left out being so large that certain stock sectors will outperform recently the case to point is uh, just a case like a stock like ndtv you know when i joined my career when i came back from hong kong i was a consultant in ndtv and uh, in 2011 12 uh, luckily in, uh, some of the uh, uh, you know payment came by way of uh, some stocks so at 30 rupees i accumulated and still had 6000 stock and imagine what a bounty it, 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 these 6000 stocks turned out to be so you know there is a lot of left out feeling you've seen the same case as the stocks run up far ahead of open offers look at the ambuja case so these valuations are stressed and so is the adani group but adani group as a whole even though multiples are very ahead and most people are missed out and are waiting for crashes those may not or may not materialize in the short run maybe some of the fmcg stocks yeah. looked overpriced but given the consumption spend and the spending uh, you know euphoria which will unleash I think they will continue to rule the premiums which they are uh, at. Sanjeev, you hit many such jackpots like NDTV. You are a rich man, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> And six thousand shares, I know it's come out. Six thousand is nothing for okay. people like you. <laughs> I'm coming to Delhi. I'm hoping that you know you will uh, you will take me for 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 a treat at at your restaurant. I guess uh, you have you that. Uh, Arey, you are you are you are all most welcome. You are most welcome. It would be my pleasure and delight to. Uh, you know get you some of the best butter chicken and tikka at my son's restaurant oh looking looking oh, forward wow. to that sir that's a good way to start our weekend right i mean at least expect some butter chicken and chicken tikka yeah. but uh, thank you thank you sanjeev, sanjeev very safe yes yeah, sanjeev thanks thanks a lot uh, for joining us and you know i have, I have to give it to you uh, as i said uh, you know you you were consistent uh, i i know you were trolled a lot when the market was down uh, but you know you stuck your neck out about 18000 and uh, Uh, of course, you know. Lo and behold, we are at eighteen thousand today. So, uh, you know, uh, I think you deserve a congratulations for for that call. Thanks a lot for joining us, Sanjeev. Thank you, and also thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Nigel. Wish you all the best, and you are all most uh, welcome to any time in Delhi to come and eat the best butter chicken again and double invite. <laughs> wow, checking out the rates, you know, maybe we can book the ticket sometime and join uh, join you out there, Sanjeev. Thanks so much uh, for joining in and filling us in on your views in the markets as well as extending that invite as well. All right. For the time being, we'll slip into a short break. Come back. Continue our focus on markets. We'll have Mitesh Thakur as well as Shrikant Chawande. They'll be joining in to give us some technical trading ideas.